What's going on guys, my name is Dimitri and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna showcase to you guys five different ways to combine PDF files using Wondershare PDF Element. Let's dive into Wondershare PDF Element and show you how to do that right now. Now imagine this, you need to submit a report in an hour, but the materials are in different forms, PDF, PowerPoint, Excel, etc. And you need to include all of them on one report. However, it can only be in one form, PDF form. Here are the different ways that you can combine different types of files into a PDF using Wondershare PDF element. So the first method to combine documents to PDF is by selecting and right clicking on PDFs. However, if you hold the control key when selecting so, I'm pressing left clicking and pressing control. You can, can select all three of these. Then if you right click and press combine to PDF right here, it'll be open up straight away in PDF element. And if you want to add more files, you can. So for example, if we want to add a PDF form example, you can also select the pages that you have in here. So if you want to take only certain pages from these, i.e. if I only wanted to take page one on this I can choose that then after you're done you can press apply and the document will open up straight away in Wondershare PDF element and as you can see these are combined so the second way that you can combine PDFs is from the home window in Wondershare PDF so you can press this button combine PDF right here Choose the files that you want. We're going to choose the exact same ones that we had on the home page. Open and do the same process. Alternatively, after launching PDF and clicking back to the main interface, then you can go to tools, combine files from within one, and then you can add different files like such. Just like before, you add it, then press apply, and it will combine the files together to make a PDF. So the third method to combine PDFs is to do it by thumbnail. So if we press open files and open up a PDF right here, then step two is to combine it with another PDF. So you wanna click the thumbnail that you have. So if we go to a window right now, what we can do is if we have this sidebar enabled, we have this clicked with the thumbnail. So then what we can do is we can actually take this example PDF and drag it in here and we'll have it for our use. It will be able to be combined easily and quickly any document, but just dragging a PDF file in here on the thumbnails and it's combined. So method four is to combine PDF pages into one single image. So if we press open files and we click one of these that are the combined PDFs from earlier, then if we press this page part right here, it'll show all the pages but we're gonna be able to combine them like this. So if we right click here, we can adjoin all pages into one single image. In the pop-up window, you can select the page range as you could with the other things we were doing earlier. You can just select all the even or all the odd pages as well. You can set the border width and color and how far zoomed in the image is also. Once done, you can press okay, then say a save as window will pop up. And you can select a different image format to your liking here, whether it's JPEG, PNG, BMP, GIF, or TIFF. So if we press save, it'll save it as a JPEG. So method five, the last method, is to combine PDFs by inserting pages. So if we press open files, and we can select one of these here, then if we go to page, insert from PDF, we can click on another PDF here and it will ask us which ones we want to add. So the first page, the last page, where do we want to place it at? What page specifically do we want to paste it at? So say we want to put it at number three and then we can choose whether it'd be after or beforehand. We get to place it at the specific spot we want to in this way. If we press okay, we can see it went after number three, just as we told it to. So that's all in the five different ways that you can combine PDFs using Wondershare PDF Element. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all of our latest PDF tips. Also, make sure to click that link down below in order to check out PDF Element for free today. And don't forget to comment down below with any question, query, or suggestion that you have. Plus, make sure to check out the rest of our tutorials on Wondershare PDF Elements YouTube channel. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.